Hey, this is Stephen A. Williams with Making Money with Stephen A. Williams here on YouTube. If you're watching me on another platform, please go and subscribe on my YouTube channel or go to my Let's Level Up Your Business Facebook page. You can go to either one of those. In today's video, we're going to talk about being a believer in yourself. One of the biggest problems that people have when they try to start a business, they try to better them themselves financially, is that they run into a few things. On one side, they run into their own limited beliefs. And on the other side, they run into other people not believing them. So in this video, this is going to solve that problem for you. It's going to give you something that you can latch on to. This is, this is not theory. This is fact. This is the way that I live my life. This is the way that I've been able to build my businesses. This is the way that I've been able to believe in myself to become a successful business owner. And let me tell you this, is that you don't have to prove anything to anybody other than yourself. Like that's the, if you want to say like, what's the big takeaway from this is that you just need to prove to yourself. When you prove to yourself, everything falls in the line, prove another, uh, what you've done will be the proof to other people from what you do. And the way that you do that is you show that you believe in yourself. So first, let's talk about it. Um, let's talk about this side here. You have a goal, like you, you have a goal and you have results that you get from that goal. So first, let's talk about it from the goal aspect, from when you're just starting, you either have a new idea, something that is that, that you're trying to take to the market, or you're trying to start a business so you can make more money to quit that nine to five, whatever it is, you're gonna have that goal. Now, one of the problems that people have, and I had this problem when I was younger, but I overcame it, is that you have to remember, you got to understand this, is that no matter what this goal is, no matter what this goal is, if it's a small goal or if it's a big goal, as a matter of fact, the bigger the goal, the crazier these this group of people here is going to look at you. So when you have a goal, other people, Friends, family, people you don't know are going to look at you for who you are now. What you do when you look at that goal, you start dreaming about who you will be. Because why would you want to have a goal to do something if you're not going to be that person? But what tends to happen is that when this group of people, I call this the other people, which these other people are just uh, reacting to who you are now. And they're also reacting to what they believe that they're able to do. So if you have a goal to start a business and they've never started a business, but they had an aspiration of having a business, but they didn't even take the step that you took to even attempt to start a business, they're going to be looking at you this way. You see that that face, that face look down? They're going to be like, who do you think you are? Uh, you don't have money. You came from just where we came from. Uh, your education is even lower than mine. So they're going to have these looks on their face, and you're going to be wondering, why are they that way when all I'm trying to do is to be successful? Why don't they support me? And then you're going to have other people that look at you. They're like, okay, yeah, great. You're starting your business and they're looking at you and uh, you're like, but you're not getting the reaction that you would think. Maybe you try to do business with them. Maybe you try to uh, talk to them about your business opportunity, whatever it is. Uh, they had a smile on their face, but they didn't do nothing. And that's because they don't see your results. So no matter what it is when you're at the beginning or even if you have a business and you're already going, you're going to still go through this process. It's just going to be at a different level. But just keep in mind that all of these people 
are not looking at you from this point of view. They're looking at it from where you are now. Keep that in mind. So don't get offended. They don't see your who you see yourself as being when you achieve that goal. They don't see that person. You see that person. That's in your imagination. You see that person. They cannot see that person. They are incapable of seeing that person. And even when you become that person, some of these people will never see you as that person. And those people will like disappear out of your life. It'll seem like they just go away. I've had that experience happen to me. There was when, when my wife and I started our first business, there was this guy, a friend of ours, neighbor, who would always say and make comments, oh, you're doing that business and, you know, oh, you know, because we wasn't making any money. He couldn't see what we saw with that business. That business ended up being a multi-million dollar business that we still own 34 years to this day now, 34-year-old company. But he would make those comments, and as that business got successful, that individual, it's like they just disappeared. Just like you never ran into him again except for one time. And the one time that I ran into him is when we were driving in our Range Rover, autobiography edition, and we saw this guy spinning the pizza thing over there and we looked and we said, isn't that so-and-so? And when we stopped over, we said, how you doing? And he's sitting there, the, the, the $5 pizza. And he looks at that Range Rover and he looks at us still together. And um, we didn't get into nothing about the business. He didn't ask nothing about the business, but he saw the result and he was still had that mindset because even when you had that result, some of these people here, they're going to still have that sad face, not because they don't see your result. They had a sad face because they didn't take action like you did. So that's that side. So now let's get to this side here, believing in yourself. What I learned to do a long time ago is that you don't, don't talk. You take action. A well-known hypnotist named Marshall Silver used to always say this. He still says it. Fail forward fast. So let's quickly talk about these. See, when you're talking about your goal and other people see and you don't have the results and then you don't have the results and then you react to what they're saying and you stop believing in yourself. When you need to, to, to do the opposite, you need to believe in yourself and you need to stop talking. Stop talking about all of that and just take action and let your actions over time get the results. Because if you go at it from this direction, you're gonna end up quitting your business. I bet that many of you right now who are watching this video have quit your business, like you've just started multiple businesses over and over and over again, because you go through that honeymoon period of, I have a goal, this is that big business that I'm going to start, and then all of a sudden, you start not getting the reaction that you want from other people, and nothing is working, and then you go and try to do another business. What you need to do is find the business you want to be in, you need to stop talking, and you need to take action. Stop talking, take action. How will you know if you're taking action and you're just doing the talking? Look at what you're doing with the, with the results that you're getting. What are you doing to get your business going? Like real stuff, not fake stuff. Are you advertising your business constantly to get leads, to get people to talk to? Because no business can survive without more people to talk to every day. So are you taking action every day to do that? And I'm not talking about, you know, we got the free stuff that people do, fine. But I'm talking about taking some real action. Are you investing dollars in your business, not just on infrastructure? I'm talking about to bring people to see what you had to offer because you're not going to grow a business if you don't do that. The next thing is you fail forward fast. So from your, your spending of your advertising dollars to pull people in, are you 
getting people and they're just not like it could be one a few things could happen advertise no result so you got to fix the ad because what you're saying in the ad people don't care about like you can't say oh uh i had the best price in town well don't you think your competition say we got the best price in town no you're gonna have to do some work and figure out what you need to say to be able to get the people to understand that you had the best price in town, but you also had the best product in town. You got to figure out some way to do that. So if you if you got a grocery store, you got to figure out a way to make them think that your grocery store is somehow better than someone else's grocery store. Because if you don't do that, you're just going to get what you get. And that ain't going to make it if you're trying to advance yourself in business. If you're getting people from your advertisement, but you're not making any sales, then... You don't need to change your advertising. You need to change the way that you're selling people, the way that you're talking to people. So you're failing forward fast, but you're passing tests at each step. And that's going to get you to where you want to be. And then the next thing is to be the believer. I'm going to read something to you real quick that I read very often. And this is out of this book, the three, uh, Project three, 369. If you cannot tap into... The feeling of your desire fulfilled. It means that you have not yet tapped into being the believer. And your current beliefs are holding you back. Again, the key to tapping into feeling to the feelings you're looking for is to disregard everything in your outer world. Disregard. The moment you begin to ask yourself when or how it will happen is the most is the moment reason and logic prevents you from tapping into your feelings. So your feeling is your goal. When stuff is not working right here, that's why I said don't talk, take action. Because what you will start to do is when you will if you sit there and talk, you're going to be dealing with this over here. But when you're taking action, don't worry about how and why and all of that stuff. Don't don't get into that because that's just you. You some of the times you just don't know how it's going to work out. You just have to keep taking action. Just keep taking action, and you're going to see that it's going to happen. A lot of the times, a lot of the stuff that happened for me was that I stopped worrying about how it was going to happen and I just kept taking action. Try this, try that, try this, try that. All of these different things. We got a result there. Okay, now keep that result and then let's move to the next step. That's what I would do. So you must take your attention away from reasoning or logic, uh, or logic stopping you from accepting, believing, and satisf satisfying your desire in your inner world. Continue to visualize the same scene for a couple of minutes, at least once or twice a day until you are satisfied with having your desire in your inner world and are detached from it in your outer world. Some of you may have some trouble believing in that, but I'm here to tell you uh, that that is the way that it works, is that you have to believe in yourself before it's going to materialize on the outside world. Because other than that, you you yourself, which people do do this. I was about to say something that I, but I, 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 when I thought about it, it does happen. A lot of people do end up materializing their existence off of what other people think. Because they're just followers. They don't believe in themselves. So all they do is, that, in a way, they're living someone else's imagination. Because if they, if this person says you can't be successful and you quit your, your uh, goal, then it, it, in, isn't that in a way the reverse of what you're, what you're, the way that you're supposed to be doing it? Isn't, isn't that the reverse? So if you believe that what this person is saying is true, you stop doing your goal, you have just done the opposite of what I just told you to do. But if you disregard the outer, even though you this none of this has happened yet, no, the result hasn't happened yet. You had a goal, but the result hasn't happened yet. 
if you just disregard the outer world and focus more on believing in yourself, stop all of that talking. If you do any talking, you're talking to yourself. If you do any talking, you're talking to yourself, tell, saying to yourself, I believe in myself because I do this. So let's, you can say this, I believe I'm going to be successful in my business because I'm advertising every day, because I'm advertising every day. I believe that I'm going to be successful in my business because I'm working on my business every day. I believe that I'm going to be rich because I'm working on my business advertising every day. That's logical. You will build your belief and you will start to see that result happen. And don't get so attached to having it happen a certain way. My wife would tell me this over and over, but years ago, I finally got it. You do not have to know how it will happen. It is not our jobs to know how it will happen. When it happens, you will know how it happened. When it happens, you will know how it happened. So don't get stuck and worried about how, 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 because if you think too much about how, you won't take any action. Fail forward fast. I want you as your homework, pick something that you need to do in your business, and it probably needs to be advertised in your business. Because if you're going to get the fastest result for yourself and your business is to advertise your business and you don't need to have everything all perfect. I've seen some of the most perfectly looking businesses, websites, all of that stuff, and they make no money because they did not think about how they're going to bring in customers. So I want you to say this right now. I will be successful in my business because I'm going to advertise my business every day. I don't care if you advertise your business for $5 a day. I want you to get used to advertising your business for $5 a day. And you're going to fail forward fast. You're going to put together an ad. You're going to see if you can generate leads and you're going to see if you can close those sales. Because if you cannot do that, your business is not going to work. You can just get out of that business. The next thing is you need to be the believer. You believe in yourself, but you need to be the believer. The believer means that you control your outcome. And it does not have to materialize the way that you thought it was. You just have the overarching goal in your mind, the overarching result that you want. And then you just do the work and however it comes to you, it will come to you. I just had a client for one of my companies Two, as, as a matter of fact, yesterday, two clients came back that hadn't been doing business with us for a while. And if we were just to stop doing what we were doing, because business had slumped. After COVID, for my publishing company, a lot of people just, their mindsets, it was like they got depressed. And we just kept trucking even though it's, it's been a serious struggle and we're like now like working our way out of it. Like what, what is this three years later? But a couple of companies came back to us and it was like, if we wasn't here, we would have lost that potential business. And we're talking about very good money for, for just those two companies. And there's other companies that have came, but I'm just thinking like, you don't have to worry about how it's going to come to you. It will come to you. You just got to get yourself into that position. And part of being in that position is just to believe in yourself. Be there. Do your business. Continue doing it. Continue believing in your business. And you will see that these types of things will start happening in your favor. So now you might be wondering, okay, Steve, I hear what you're saying. I need some guidance. Do you have a program? What do you do? I have a program. It's called Let's Level Up Your Business. And so what I do for everybody, and this is a limited time, is that I will let you utilize that course. This is not like some rehash stuff. This is me on there telling you from my 34 years of 
working with multiple companies and working with my own businesses, building them, I show you exactly how to advertise your businesses the right way, how to generate your leads the right way on all of the different platforms. The link is either above or below this video. You need to go there and you need to look at what I had to offer because if you're trying to grow your business, if you're trying to get more leads, more customers, that's the program for you. Thank you for your time. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos that I post. This is Stephen A. Williams with Making Money with Stephen A. Williams here on YouTube. And let's level up your business. Thank you.